Hey everybody, welcome back to the Old Swedes Farm. It's Rich. The time has come. Time to check this out. It's our uh, fermented cabbage. If you watched our video, and I'll link it at the end, four weeks ago we took several heads, I think it was three heads of uh, green cabbage, five pounds of it. We mixed it with three tablespoons of pickling salt, worked it over, worked it over, and then put it in our jar. We did another process too to make sauerkraut the traditional way um, and we water bath that. This is the finished product and we're going to give it a try. So Holly just gave the best compliment of all. We opened it up for the first time and what would you say? It smells like sauerkraut. Hey, hey, look at that. We might have done it right. The first thing I'm going to do, when we put this together, we took that five pounds like I said, we worked it with the salt. Um, to bring out all the moisture. Then we made sure the moisture was higher than the cabbage. Why don't you see if you can get a, a little close up here. We wanted to make sure during fermentation that we had a complete airlock. Air will mix with that bacteria and will be our enemy. So we put several uh, complete cabbage leaves down there that have been sanitized. Then we put then a bag of saline solution, uh, the salt solution that we had. We made a salt solution just in case it leaked. It would then keep it good instead of water. Um, but I think we kept a perfect airlock on this. It filled this jar. There were a couple little spots of mold, some bacteria that were on there. There was a tiny, tiny, maybe a half inch uh, long film uh, in one little piece and we used a spoon and pulled that out. Other than that, I think we kept a perfect airlock uh, on this, so we should be good. Um, you know, if you do get some contamination, you just pull it out. But I'm gonna get that get that bag out. Yeah, I don't see any junk in there. These cabbage leaves look. Oh my, that smells good. These cabbage leaves look great for being in there for uh, four weeks. I'm just going to pull those out so we don't disturb you know, a lot of things. Everything we've used today, uh, Holly just sanitized, I just, you know, really sanitized my hands. So there we got the airlock out. Get that out of the way. Now we've just got sauerkraut. I'm hoping. Fermented cabbage, sauerkraut, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to give this a little try. Part of the fermenting is, is fun. You never know what that funk is going to be. Um, and it's a little scary. It's like, what if it's bad, you know? It's crunchy. We, do, we did do a coarser cut. Sorry, I talked my mouth full. This is actually dang good. This is really good. Not that I was surprised. When we've done it before, it turned out really good. But every time the funk, that lactobacillus, that natural um, bacteria that breaks down um, um, plant material, gives it a different funk. This is really good. We're having some people over tonight and uh, we're going to be on the grill and we got some sausages so I know what I'm putting on mine. This is really good. So um, let me just show you what um, we're going to keep it in the fridge. This is now kind of live so that lacto could continue to uh, to break down and could mold if it's exposed to air. So we're going to keep it in the fridge where it'll be good for probably six months uh, possibly up to a year. And I'm just going to make it a little messy here. And it's okay to put the, some of the liquid in. In fact, I'm going to top it off. And then every time we use it, I'm going to, uh, you know, clean out the, or take some of the water out. Why don't we, uh, Holly, why don't you cut and then we'll be right back with a full jar and show you what the finished product is. We are back. And as you can tell from my attitude, we scored a touchdown on this one. What do you think of the taste, Hal? It's great. It, 
it turned out so good. So now we've got it filled. We've got uh, we've got it up to the the top. The juice is close. Now it's you know put it in the fridge and we can you can grab it whenever. That is so crunchy, so good. And the reason we did this versus just water bathing it. Sorry, I'm just dying loving this is the probiotic. That's why we got to have it in the fridge. This is still alive. Um, and if we don't, then it's going to go bad. It's going to mold and all that. So let's keep it in the fridge. I'm going to try to eat some down, especially today with the sausages. Get that water or that uh, saline solution up over the, the kraut. But this is awesome. Gang, I, I will at the end of this, I'm going to reference back to the original video so you know what to do. Here it is. Not a lot of finished product, but five pounds of cabbage, green cabbage. Three gives quarts. Us a, gives us a quart. What? Three quarts total. This is a quart, right? This is two quarts? Yep. Oh, three quarts. All right. This is so good. Um, but I'll put the original recipe. If you got questions, put them down below. I'd love to help you make this. This is awesome. I'm looking forward to using this, uh, I don't know, till next spring when we can get some more going. <laughs> this is really good. If you got questions or comments, throw them down below. If you like the video, give us the thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, think about subscribing. We'd love to have you along for the journey. We have a lot of fun here. So thanks for joining us, everybody. Enjoy your crowd. Cheers.